Uh, but that being said, yeah, I mean, so far, SPMM has not seemed all too bad, right? Uh, at least from my perspective. It hasn't been, like, complete blowout matches. I will say that I have gotten a number of comp killers. Um, and so... I wanted to test out if the Freddy exploit is still in the game. I think it is. I just barely missed the timing on it once I kind of thought about, like... Oh, let's test this Freddy exploit, see if they finally patched that. I don't think they have. I wonder if anyone actually knows about it. Like, it's not a well... It's like, it's not a well-talked-about thing, right? I'm not crazy for thinking that. Also, I want to just point out that White, like, watched me walk up to him. So... This is... Gonna be interesting, I feel. There's that boy. Let's drop Chase with you. Go for a dweet boy over here. Unfortunately, Ruin is in Shack, so it's very likely they will see that go momentarily. Let's teleport over here while Ruin's still up, however. Did, what? Wait, what just happened? Did anyone else just see that chest magically open by itself? Or am I a wee bit confused? Yo, what's up, safety doggo? How you doing? How you doing? I do fear that ruin is going to get popped soon. It should have been found by the Dwight in Shack, but maybe not. There we go. Okay. I'm not crazy for thinking that then. I, I thought so. So ruin is out, which means you probably want to go for Kate or someone injured. That way you can get pop value coming up. Thankfully, she's not playing a uh, pallet at all. Let's drop. We have 16 seconds, and we can only choose one. Which gen do we want to protect is the question. Ideally, we don't lose both. That would be quite unfortunate. Looks like there's two people on that gen. Which means only one person here. They committed to it. Nicely done, Felix. So that means now we want to commit to Felix. Because no other gens have since been done this entire time. So there is no re real regression to be had. He has two god pallets here. One in front of him. As well as a god vault for all intent and purpose. He's going to drop. will threaten the break. And then drop down with him. We cut him off there, and now we have this belt. Will we pre-drop it? It is not. Without dead heart, and even with, in this case, Felix does go down. I heard breathing. That was Kate coming in for the pallet drop, but did not get there in time, however. Progress on Jen in middle. Unfortunately, messed up my fake teleport there. She is currently not asleep, so she will not get hit by that dream snare. We'll get the pal drop out. Yeah, what you want to do is you want to wait until they actually start the animation of the break and not drop down like that. Uh, you can go up there without balance, but you need to make sure that they actually go for the full break. Because if you don't, then you'll just see exactly what I did. Why you would jump back like that so quickly, Dwight? That does astonish me. Good dead hard, but bad position to be in, for sure. Mm. The hitbox of the Dream Snare can be a little bit off sometimes. Honestly, the worst thing I see a lot of survivors do is they will drop pallets, but not play the pallet. They'll simply leave the tile, forcing the, or letting the killer simply move around the tile freely. That is a consistent issue that I see a lot of survivors do. That is a very simple fix. Is don't simply leave the pallet as soon as it has been dropped. Wait to see how the killer plays the pallet in general. I see Kate. We're gonna go for Dwight here. We're kind of in an interesting predicament. 
where they're not exactly in the strongest position, but neither am I. So I kind of need to be wary of that fact. Now remember he has dead heart. Ah! Now we have two people off of Jen. We're gonna go for Kate. This now will force a third person off Jen, unless they want uh, White to stay on the ground. Let's fake teleport. Because we don't have Popko's Weasel. There's the slowdown. Here comes the dead heart. There's the down. We'll probably lose that gen, but might get two hooks. You don't want to stay on a pallet until they down you, but you don't want to leave a pallet or strong pallet too early either. There, there is a balance to be struck, and most people do not know where that balance is. If they go for the insta unhook, that will result in trade. So that will be advantageous to me because no other gens have been worked on since. So we can immediately try to find either the Obsession Blight, where we can try and push him off this heal. There they are. Perfect timing. Excellent. So now he has a decision to make. Will he leave this tile? He will not. Instead, he tries to reverse dead hard and goes for the down. Most of the times, for most loops, unless they're really, really short, you're looking at maybe two and a half loops in total before you're going to take a hit no matter what. So it's very important to know how many loops until you take a hit. If you take a hit on a pallet, you usually want to go to a stronger tile, so you need to evaluate the strength of the tile that you're on. And that's one of the more, one of the things that say more experienced players will be able to understand uh, in time, whereas most of the inexperienced players will have no clue how to evaluate a very strong pallet versus a very weak pallet, right? Is he going to go to bar? He does not go to bar. He goes around to the pallet over here. Like, you'll hear me say all the time, this is a weak pallet. This is a strong pallet. And you want to be able to do that as you're in shapes. Like, this tile here, very weak right now, because all he has is that. But he does have a pallet there, which is a lot stronger in comparison if used well. He did use that relatively well. I need to get him down ASAP to avoid two, if not uh, yeah, two gens popping coming up. I do think that this pallet are, is already downed. Did I break that pallet? I don't remember, to be honest with you. There's one tinker. We have between 8 and 16 seconds before it pops. Fingers crossed for the 16, but even that might prove dicey. That was less than eight, suggesting three people, or a prove thyself on that gen. Based on the aura read, only two people, so that should mean that's a prove thyself, that, uh, that of which gets over the efficiency penalty. She goes left, when she probably could have ran right on that one. She does have God Palette. Yep, we'll let her drop it, and then we break immediately. There's no reason not to break that pallet specifically. They're healing under hook. Let's punish that. Go into chase with someone who is a bit more out in the open and out of position. In this case, meaning Dweet Boy here. Unfortunately, the pallet on the far column is already down and has not been broken. Dwight not paying attention, though, and will go down for it. Air gen on my right being worked on. And a gen to my left as well. I want to pop this gen here. There's only one gen left at this point in time. We have a little bit of a cluster of gens, I will note. We can see and hear all of them. Uh, one little note that many people don't realize is that you can hear any generator and its progress within 20 meters. So 20 meters is all the distance that you need to hear the gen. We'll move on to Felix, who I do believe is on death hook. Everyone's on death hook right now, actually. He 
doubled back and then doubled back again. Good on him. How will you play this? There's a person on that gen there. They go for the vault. He does not. Cal's gone. We'll grab him real quick. And Shelby! Thank you much for the sub. I do appreciate it. How you doing today? Kate will let me take an extra hit. That's perfectly fine. She has eye frames. We're going to have to pop this first. And then go for Kate. That's 20 seconds that I now have to kill Kate. Tinkerer goes off. She paying attention to where I am. She did not. We'll go to this tile, which is dead at this point in time. Which means now she's dead too. Unless someone's on her gen specifically, we'll be able to pop it. Looks like Dwight healed, which takes 16 seconds. Which means they have not been on that generator at this point in time. Let's fake teleport just in case to push them off. And then pop this gen for another 20 seconds. I see this Dwight over here going for this gen. He's trying to wake up. He does, so he does not have the ability to be slowed down by my dream snares. But honestly, that's all for naught. You know if there's haunted ground bug right now? So what would the bug be, out of curiosity, Don? I have not heard of anything, but it's not outside the realm possibility, however. We'll swing for it. If you describe the bug, I can probably tell you yay or nay on whether or not it actually is. Had a... Barbecue and chili. He's not moving off the gen. Had a spirit with haunted ruin and dime. He cleansed haunted. Leomi cleansed one other tone and got exposed again. That is the effect of undying, to be exact. Undying. When the first totem is cleansed, undying takes its place. Think of it as the Mr. President of totems. And so, when you cleanse onto the first time, undying goes away. And the cleanse totem that you did changes from un haunted ground to undying, and haunted then spawns again and persists, leaving it so that you could potentially cleanse it a second time. But GG, well played to these survivors. We are on either Disturb Ward or Father Campbell's Chapel. Let's test out once again Disturb Ward, whether or not the Freddy exploit is still in. And it is. Let's see. Yep. Man, I... Maybe I need to, like... I wonder if anyone has reported this exploit on the forums. I Like, I'm generally curious. This has been... How many patches, probably? Probably maybe like five or six at this point that I've tested if behavior has more or less fixed the Freddy exploit. And so far, there's nothing. So it does make me feel like it's just under their radar by some means. That maybe either some people or not enough people have mentioned it. Like, it's my only real thought process on the reasoning behind the why. Pause. Bounce landing, really good use of it too. All right, we're gonna have to drop chase. Repressed alliance. Good stuff. Okay, this makes things intriguing. You don't see Repressed Alliance used very often in a game, in pubs. That does intrigue me and makes me wonder about whether or not these survivors are of higher caliber in comparison to the last group. Very interesting, actually. We see two people back there. We don't know where the fourth person is, though. Just checking that Shen real quick. 
Looks like they're going to shack. Get them off of that quickly. And looks like we're going to play shack in that case. They chose not the vault. They held their ground in middle. They have to make a decision. Do they go short side or long side? No, she leaves the tile in tire leg. Which is intriguing. She could have played either short side or long side and played Shaq further to use the pallet later down the road, but chose not to. She does not vault here either. Instead, tries for the pallet. But then vaults for some reason. That's a wee bit peculiar. There's no reason for her to do so. Two people on that gen. They work through Tinker rather well. That was really good use of... Uh, interesting. Why jump into the locker like that? Are you meant to be my distraction? Oh, I see. For the flashbang. Very cute play. All right. That actually makes a lot of sense. Unfortunately for me, my pickup, because I didn't have a teleport ready, means that they're going to get that gen more likely than not. Yep. So these survivors are cranking out gens pretty efficiently. They're doubling up on gens to work through Tinkerer. This starts to feel like a more well-coordinated team. Are we doing poorly? Absolutely not. Are they playing efficiently though? Absolutely. Survivors also dropping pallets early. So far I've only seen a couple really odd um, plays by them in all reality. The flashbang attempt as well as the window vault, I would say, are the main things that come to mind as of this moment. All right, she goes out. She's looking for a pallet. She finds a pallet. Will she get mind game? No, because I cut my corner way too tight. She gets past it. Very good. The problem now stands is that these survivors are more likely than not on gens. In fact, we saw Nia right here on this gen. This here is a very weak pallet if not played right. And most survivors don't play it right at all. Yeah, the biggest thing you need to do is keep the killer on the long side, then drop so they're looping long side, not short side. I see Nia there. Next problem. Ruin's gone, meaning pop is our main resource. We now require downs. We required downs before, but more or so even now. She goes in the middle. There's the vault in. Does she go left or right? If she goes left, she loses distance. Right, she keeps it. That's what I was afraid of. So since we lose chase, we now go here and pop. I kept an eye on Pop's timer very specifically to teleport there last minute, or rather as last minute as possible. Pop Goes the Weasel is a 45 second timer, halfway through is 22.5 seconds. If you can measure the time that you need to get from place to place, you can use Pop at its maximum value. Still keep in chase and not have to run directly to a gen. Especially if killers like Freddy with high mobility. Or rather, in this case, teleportation. But these survivors are scaring me. They're playing very well. They're playing efficiently. They're playing smart. Do you have balanced landing? Yes, you do. But do you get anywhere with it's the next question? Only pal to your left, none to your right. No tinkerer has activated as of yet. We need to kill someone out of the game as of this moment. Another gen here being worked on as we speak. Speak of the devil and it will appear. Sprint first. And a third survivor on it as well. Last mine. 
That's why they went immediately for the unhook. They knew and repressed the alliance on top of which. What? Okay. Yep. SPMM is working. Because that if that's not a comp move, I don't know what is. Bounce landing. Goes up top for it. We go back for the gen ASAP. She ran into me though. If I wasn't so focused in on getting this pop in. There's Claudette. Come on, repress. Thank God. Honestly, that's better than a double blast mine. You don't understand how insane that is. If it wasn't for the lack of travel time from me to the gen, that wouldn't have, or I wouldn't be able to pop it. Plain, pure, and simple. If it wasn't for the fact that the hook was right next to it, and I didn't waste time on eating the blast mine, I would have lost that gen. No questions asked. That was insane. Utterly insane. Their looping's good. Their map knowledge is good. They use Blast Mine and Repressed, repressed Alliance in succession successfully. Okay, yeah. I'm impressed. Color me impressed, Claudie. Once again, still using these loops and tiles really flex effectively. Middle building does not get a lot of usage by unknowledgeable survivors because they don't know how to use the middle and its loops well enough. And this Claudette is showing me once again why I should be scared of these survivors. We see a Tinkerer. We're going to pressure it. We're going to fake it. Hope that they jumped off. And then walk to... But a second Tinker proc threatens to end the game. There's Nia. Once again, will fake, but she has sprint burst. So I think I need to drop Chase. There's an injured Nia. So that's good news. Let's go for her. She goes upstairs for a balanced landing play. But does not drop down right away. She opts to go down here instead. And she is off to the races. We now have to rely on them not being on clear comms. If they are on comms at this point in time, they will 100% punish my uh, lack of gen regression here. Does she have a pallet coming up? I feel like she does. Nothing yet. She goes in the locker. So she's trying to waste as much time as possible. There's... That's not the same generator that was tinkered earlier. I want to mind you. Will we see another blast mine repressed alliance play? You like we will. No, she's going to try and go through with it. And Adrenaline! She knew she could sit there and eat the hit for the Adrenaline too? Am I playing a scrim? Am I being punked? Did I end up in customs by mistake? Because this is feeling like a comp game. That is a comp play. She did not go through. She went upstairs instead. She played that really well. Now we see a balanced landing come in. She goes back inside, however. And back upstairs. Thankfully, find another Nia. Then this Nia wants me to chase her again. Why? Let's down you. I don't want to eat your DS that you just baited. So instead, we're going to pick you up. Okay. So this was a thing. I mean, we're on the stir board, a streak in their map as is. And it's very much looking like Red Boy here is going to lose his 15 win streak. SBMM threw a freaking monkey wrench into things, to say the least. Now, they need to take two body blocks, potentially. Flashbang. I barely noticed that, by the way. I do want to point that out, that I did not hear the pin drop, but I did see the arm movement. So now we might be able to play off their altruism, but it's going to depend on who's on death hook and who is not. 
I think Fauda and this Nia are not, but we'll find out. Oh, that was wrong. I picked the wrong Nia. So we'll see a two man out and the end of this win streak. Holy hell. That was good stuff. I, I want to know whether or not this was a Swift. This feels like a Swift. Like, there's no way that you get Blast Mine and Repress back to back. Man, that was good. That was a fun match. GG, well played to these survivors. All right. Where are we at now? Is this another Disturbed Ward? Oh, God dang it. No, this is probably Campbell's. Thank God. I like, I saw the map play. I was like, oh, I see fire pallets. No, there's uh, Father Campbell's. Thank God for that noise. Hi, do you have bounce landing? Ooh, let's see. You do not. So you're taking a hit. Uh, but I heard good survivors, so I had to butt in. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Gave me an early warning on the vault. There's the dead hard, and we're good. Only 4 a.m.? You're like me, Trix. You don't sleep. For better or for worse. Barbecue and chili. See two people on that chin. Very lightly progressed, however. What is sleep nowadays? That's fair. That is fair. I'll be real. Not sure what you're thinking, Fingman, but whatever you were, it did not work. You drop immediately. Go for it. If, you, if I was paying attention to what you're doing and not respecting the pallet drop, you would have absolutely gone smacked. And this is not a pallet that you want to die on. Uh-huh. Like I said. Who needs sleep when you can watch 10 John Cena moments? Top 10 John Cena moments? Fair enough, fair enough. That's Beyond Hill, my friend. Why does that name Obey seem familiar? I don't know why. Like she left. She learned her lesson on the last time. There's the dead heart, however. And the down. Oh, see, I don't fall down rabbit holes like that. I just watch anime. So, funny thing that has happened here in my apartment. I'm pretty sure my AC is broken, so I'm gonna have to open up a window soon. The the stream room gets really, really warm really, really quick, and I do not do well with that at all. There's Yui. Why is Yui protecting Kate? Confused. Because you have DS? Probably. Kate probably thinks she's in the clear. Uh, let's leave Yui. Let's go for Feng Min. Yui's already up. She'll vault the L wall. Makes sense. Will she leave the tile? She does, however. So the only person that I'm chasing is the only healthy one. Meaning that the, everyone else is injured. Hold up. Fingman. Excellent. Frankie, could you do me a favor? Could you come in the stream room and open up the window? Be much appreciated. As it's getting sweltering in here. Like, we've only been on for an hour. And it's already so warm now the AC's off. I do not like it. There's so little air circulation in this room, too. And what happens is that my body gets, like, pins and needles. 
when my body temp goes up too quick. No bueno. What? Frankie? Oh, no, I just said it would help by opening the Yeah, that would help a lot, actually. Can. Do you need help? What are you doing? Unlock the window first. They're both leaving the room. Then you turn counterclockwise. Counterclockwise. You tried one way, but didn't try the other? Well, I'm not, but I'm judging you. There's a difference. Thank you. I mean, yes, you need to unlock the window before you open it. That's kind of common sense, don't you think? Thankfully, I think it's warmer or colder outside than it is inside. Yes, it's 66. This will help out a lot. Yeah, between the headset and everything else, man, it's been sweltering in here. But now I don't have audio, which is going to be a bit rough. But that's going to be fine. I don't think I'll need it too much. I have won a competitive match of Dead by Daylight while and without audio, I will mention. So it won't be the first time. Right, door's not open. Thank you, Frankie. I appreciate it. tomorrow I'm doubtful that they're gonna be doing any form of maintenance I'll be real oh yeah that's right tomorrow is well not the weekend but it's a Friday so fair point I first ran this today feels like Friday I'm not entirely sure why okay office hours still apply on Friday you are correct that is accurate We need to break this door, like, ASAP. <laughs> so Thursday feels like Friday? Yeah, that would make sense. That would make sense. Alright. Thankfully, I saw that mind game in real time. Is that my favor? Go to this gen. Hi, can you jump off that gen? That'd be lovely. You have nothing here. Good dead hard. Bad, bad placement. Yeah, thank you, Frankie, for opening up the window. That's a lot better. 66 degrees outside. Have some genuine airflow. Uh, versus 73 base with the potential of it being higher due to studio lights. And, like, I don't mean that lightly when I say studio lights, by the way. Like, I straight up have a photo light setup so I can get good lighting for stream. It is, uh, very bright, but very effective. And thus, very warm. Unfortunately, it makes the room a bit warm. Now, if that's that happening, that means the heat is still on the gen. There's the UV. Get you. Not a moth, my dear. I'm sorry to tell you that. That just ain't happening. <laughs> 
But I wonder if she's gonna revolt. No, she did not revolt that way. Odd. There's the dead heart. Turns the AC off since not like anything was gonna happen anyways. I don't know, maybe miraculously it start working? Who knows? You know? Better than nothing, I suppose. It's currently 74 out there. Lovely. Yeah. I don't know what happened. Like, I just randomly realized earlier today, I'm like, huh. Why is it saying internal temp of 72? That's odd. And then I looked at it and tried to turn the temp down again. And it's like, mm, we'll see if it works later by the time I go stream. Nope, now it's 73. Fantastic. It's like, well, this is gonna be a fun time. I can already tell. Yeah, except no one tells us what that means at all. It's like, danger, Will Robinson. Danger, danger. That comment is going to be lost on many of the people, by the way. Yep, dead already know that. Also, when you say weeks, you, you're probably closer to like a couple months, I'll be real. But it's been working this entire time. So like, I guess I just don't question it. They even came in, repaired the filters. They took a look at the thermostat. And it seemed to be working fine, according to them. So like, okay, I guess I'll trust the experts. Apparently I shouldn't. Apparently when I see a danger sign, I should report it. Go figure. Hi. I don't want you though. I want the Feng Min. You just want to be chased? Like, what, what's the deal here, Cheryl? I'm rather confused. It looks like she doesn't want to vault at all. Is she also. Oh, she's not asleep yet. I was wondering how she hasn't tripped off the dream snare. Here I am playing about sound. <laughs> making my life a bit more difficult. I should probably hit that one. Alright, sounds good, Frankie. I appreciate it. I mean, thankfully, 70s isn't like deathly bad. But it's like bad enough to where it's annoying. At least for me. This room, I'd have to take like a genuine temp. I actually kind of want to figure it out. How warm this room gets if I leave the lights on for an hour. I think not. I think that you guys do not get match this match. Instead, you get death. How's that sound? I give you death and I get hatch. That sounds like an even trade to me. Let's break some pots for some extra points. And should be good to go. We maxed out on brutality and deviousness. But GG well played. The P survivors. Rotten Fields. And as we all say, that's my rotten luck, but at least we're not playing Blight on Rotten Fields, that's the good news. Let's take a look around. So far, nothing. Yeah. Unfortunately, I'd like to ask more people about their experiences, but the majority of experiences that I hear from other people are, I don't like SBMF. It shouldn't be in Dead by Daylight. I'm like, can we like actually run this as a test and like give it genuine thought rather than just being, oh my God, that was four people on that gen? What's the fresh hell? 
um, rather than just being so polarized that we can't look at something as a potential solution. Grab you. Finally played some killer. Felt pretty good though. One match so uh, so far. Gotcha. So I'd be interested to see what your next game looks like on that um, on that uh, next game of whatever killer you play. And see if that the next match feels that much harder. Because you got your first win, right? Okay, so dropping pallets for health states. That's smart. That, that shows at least some degree of experience in the game. Trying to get to the next tile. Didn't get there. Use the vault instead of the pallet. Going directly for it. Good move. Moves directly for the next tile. Interesting. I mean, you have the distance to make that work, so fair. You move to the next pallet, however. So the red light, either red light, drops it early. Not sure if they predicted the mine game or if they dropped early just to be safe. Now we're on meat tree, however. We'll shorten the distance immediately for our dreams there. Most people should know by now not to mid vault Mitri. Feel like SBM has trouble uh, placing me sometimes because uh, I have a lot of killer knowledge from you, but can't always apply it. So as you feel like the matches skew uh, too far either ways, but we'll you'll see if SBM settles that out. Yeah, that's that's a fair point, right? It, you know, as SPMM gets more and more data and becomes more and more refined. We'll find that, you know, certain matches are going to get better and better as far as, you know, evaluating that skill gap, right? There's Fingman. Only downside of having the window open right here, I will say, is the fact that I'm, like, this window faces an alleyway, and the alleyway is where everyone, their grandma goes to uh, smoke once they leave the bar. So very, uh, some very pungent smells coming my way. Well, I played Trickster a little, mostly to get my crown. That's what I played today. That makes sense. Let's teleport for Pop. Well, I was hoping to try and get that double tap, but no dice. I mean, we got a grab off it, got an injure. So was that a fair trade in their favor? Uh, debatable. Let's go this way, see if she drops. The she vaults, does she have life? Looks like life. Well, the good news is that we know that the next tile does not have a pallet. So she does not have many ways out of the current situation at hand. Attempts to spin, does not work. And that's fair, I mean, because you have mechanical knowledge, but you don't have the experience to necessarily always use it, I would say. You like the knives on Trickster? Trickster's a lot of fun, no doubt about that is a ton of fun to play. He feels much better now, but I will still say that at a high level, Trickster is still very weak. Um, is my only, my only problem. Because if survivors know how to play around Trickster, then they're gonna be in trouble. And she does not go for Harvester. Let's use Harvester to cut off some distance. She goes back for Harvester now, however. That's actually a pretty good double back. She saw what I was attempting to do and cut line of sight. But now she's going to meet tree, which does not have any value to give. Let's grab you. Can I just say, by the way, how happy I am that I can 
you know, e more easily uh, initiate grabs. It's my favorite thing to do now, is grab people off of whatever they're attempting. Like, it used to be that way back in P2P days of DBD, but obviously P2P was a hellish landscape. Um, when it came to connectivity, thankfully me as killer, my connection was good, and so Survivor's connection was good. But uh, in other scenarios, not so much. He's not asleep, so no dream snare. Oh yeah, grabs are much more consistent is the key word. Much, much more consistent in comparison. All right, he was spinning around in the corn trying to confuse me. Was it just me, or did Fagman seem really far away from the pallet and then, like, launched back into it? Am I crazy for seeing the... That's Bowman Chase. She seemed far, I was thinking the same. Okay, thank God. I'm not sure if, like, it's because of, like, Fang's small stature or simply because of I don't know what. All I know is it seemed really off. Pop it. We'll go for Lori. I think we've been grinding away their resources pretty consistently. Sucked into a pal, but she got sucked for the drop. Oh, you have no idea. That reminds me of some of uh, the good old days, quote unquote, of vacuum pallets. Now that was a thing. Freaking vacuum pallets. My word. Eight seconds off this gem. Basically, more or less, you could vacuum yourself back into an interaction, and it was nightmares for the killer, as it was almost impossible to figure out what was going on. Thankfully, you don't really see that too often anymore. Sometimes when they have, like, bad connectivity, you see it once in a while, but for the most part, you don't. Now it's been another survivor on there. That's what I'm afraid of. So now it's with three gens and no one out yet. Now it's gone here, no vault, so this should result in a down. The thing is, I don't think Thingman's on death hook. There's only two people that should be. Hmm. This could prove problematic. Well, don't need barbecue and chili to know where they are. We went to the wrong gen. There's a gen in front of the gen that I wanted to teleport to. And I prioritized the wrong one. That's really painful, I have to admit. That was really, really painful to see. Yeah. I should have paid more attention. I wasn't, and I paid for it. Oh well. So I'll end up two and two of Freddy, it looks like. Wait, did she just. Did she actually? Why would. Interesting. Why would you go into basement? I'm confused. There's the unhook on Fingman. And she's dead. We see Jake there. I'm gonna assume that that exit gate's already open. They're not under hook. I didn't see scratch marks going out towards the other exit gate. But Fingman healed. So they couldn't have gone far. Blood was back there. See Fingman there. He's going to the other exit gate through Shack. I think she has lights, so she gets some extra distance. Jake opens door for Fingman. But Lori did not make the same path. Or not Lori, Zarina did not make the same pathing. Nope, they did. Fingman's out too. Where did Zarina go? It wasn't like this was open. Huh, fair play. I wish they had Jason DVD. I don't think... I, I'm not sure if you were here when I explained why Jason isn't, but GG well played to these survivors.